Welcome to Fall Ritual Haunted Attraction Video Reviews 2021. Today, kick off of the season, starting off with, as always, Field of Screams out in Mountville, PA, in the Lancaster area. This is a place, if you watch my past reviews, um, this is a place we always kick off the season with. Um, I think we've been going there for about 10 years now. Um, it is one of those things, like so many people say, like, oh, you know, change things up a bit, you know, try to go to different places. Um, but this is always the kickoff. This has to be the kickoff to the season. It wouldn't feel like the season if we didn't go uh, and start it with Field of Scream. So uh, that's what we do every year. Um, before I get into it, um, they are still doing the uh, time ticket slots and uh, to guarantee uh entry into the haunt um you do need to purchase tickets online uh if you show up to the ticket booth and they're sold out then you can't get in so uh make sure you go online purchase your ticket so you're guaranteed uh entry um just check the dates as well um i know there's different uh prices for different dates um so when you're on the website uh just take a look at that it's all color coordinated on the uh, website. Um, also sign up for their emails. Uh, you will get a ton of coupons um, for uh, tickets that, you know, you, you got to buy them online anyway. So you might as well get, you know, uh, coupon codes um, for your tickets. So Field of Screams, they got four attractions and a huge Midway entertainment area. That's probably one of the best Midway entertainment areas uh, in the industry. I always say that like, you could do so much at Field of Screams without actually going into an attraction. When you first get there, that entertainment area I mean, it is just filled with stuff to do. I mean, there's there's food trucks, there's photo ops, there's actors walking around, there's uh, escape rooms, there's games to play, there's bands playing. I remember one year, I don't know if they still do it, but one year they had like, like a half pipe for uh, skateboarders. I mean, you could do so much without even like stepping foot into an attraction. Um, and I believe that you don't even need a ticket to get into the... Uh, into that entertainment area midway. I think you can just walk into it. Um, they do have like drop off areas for uh, parents dropping their kids off. Um, so there is a ton of stuff to do before even like getting to your first attraction. Um, so get there early, get there early or stay late or, uh, you know, just make sure you do everything they have to offer because everything there is so much fun to do and it's always a good time and the atmosphere there is incredible. Um, like I said, they have four attractions. Um, they do kind of, <clears throat> now you can go do any order you want, um, although they do kind of have it suggested. Um, if I saw this right, I think they will have it suggested the Asylum, then Nocturnal Wasteland, Hayride. Um, I believe it's a suggested order they have. Um, we didn't do that order. I'm going to talk to you about the order we did it. Um, and like I said, you could do any, you could do the Hayride last, you could do the Hayride first, you can do the houses first. It, it doesn't matter what order you go in. Um, so we always do the two houses first, um, just because we get there early and it's still kind of light out. Um, and you don't want to do the Hayride or the trail while it's still light. So uh, the first thing we did uh was the den of darkness uh the den of darkness <clears throat> um it's one we like to start off with it's it's a very intense um attraction but not as intense as the asylum so if you want to like slowly build up the intensity um and then just come down uh start off with the den um if you've been there before, you'll notice some changes, especially that first room. Um, there are a few new uh, stuff, new scenes added to the den. Um, it's very dark. It, it's, it's called the Den of Darkness for a reason. It is very, very dark in there. Um, there is a part 
Uh, if you've been there before, you know you're gonna have to crawl. Um, they still make you do the crawling. Now, if, if you, you can't do the crawling or if you just choose not to, there is an actor there who uh, you just say to the actor, hey, I, I, I can't crawl or you know I don't feel comfortable crawling. Um, and there is a way to uh, bypass that. So uh, don't think you have to crawl. Um, it is fun to do the crawling. So if you can and, and willing to do it, do it. Um, but don't don't be like, oh my God, I gotta crawl through this thing. Um, no, there is an actor there who will let you let you around. Um, <clears throat> this this den, I, I really noticed it this year, the smells in the den, especially after you get through the crawling, um, you're gonna hit like this, uh, like autopsy type room with like the, you know, the, the, the autopsy drawers and, and the cadaver drawers and stuff like that. Um, I noticed before, but I never noticed it that bad until this year. It, it really smells in there. I mean, they got that stench really pumping out into this room and, uh, you're going to notice a lot of smells. You're going to notice a lot of smells, a lot of like weird sounds, um, vision. It, it is sensory overload. Um, that this whole place is just like this, you know, the, the sights, the smells, the sounds, everything. Um, I said, we don't, we don't start out easy when, when we kick off the season. We, we, we go hard and, and feel the screams is a, uh, it's a very intense haunt. Um, after the den, uh, we did the asylum. Like I said, we like to do the two houses, uh, first, um, the asylum, the actors in this asylum are um, just unbelievable. They, they're out of control, these actors. These actors are absolutely just on a whole nother level of, uh, of what they're doing in there. Um, as soon as you walk in, you're gonna go down maybe about five or six steps. The very first actor you're gonna encounter is intense. I mean, that's the only word I can describe this actor as very, very intense. I mean, like, this guy is just in your face, hitting things, you know, screaming at it. I mean, I don't know how these actors do this for one night, you know, let alone every weekend for, you know, a place like Field of Screams is open for almost two months. I, I, I don't understand how these guys and all these actors can put themselves through that, but they do. Um, it's unbelievable. Um, and I will say all these actors are volunteer, uh, which is uh, unbelievable. It's, it's amazing what they're doing out there. Um, so yeah, once you encounter that actor in the first room at the asylum, sets the whole tone of what you're gonna experience in this asylum. Um, as every actor in there is just over the top, just over the top, giving it their all. Um, there's a lot of things in there that I, I mean, I think I used the term nightmare fuel four or five times, at least going through the asylum. There's so many things that are just like, uh, you know, this, this is, this is nightmare fuel. This is unsettling. This is, uh, man, this, this is messed up. Um, there was one part we were walking upstairs cause there's a lot of stairs that you have to go up and down in, in both houses. And we were walking up one set of stairs and this, this girl was just standing there and her hair was in her face and she was just like staring down the, down the, uh, the stairway at us. And then like in a split second, she was gone and somehow ended up at the other side of the room totally scared the crap out of me um and, and that's the that's the best thing about going to uh to the haunts over again like feel the screams y you know i i you would think since i've been there so many times i would know where the jump scares are where actors are going to come out of what, everything but i don't and they just keep getting me every time and this this one girl up in like the attic area of the asylum i mean she got me with like one of those like uh, bike horn things and it just scared the crap out of me. Um, I don't know how she got from one end of the room to the other so fast. It was just, those actors are unbelievable. Um, 
there, there there's just scenes that are just like so like uh, it, again with the smells and it just these gross scenes and and mannequins i don't like mannequins there's tons of mannequins um clowns you, you they did bring back the uh the claustrophobia bag um in the asylum in the uh clown room and it felt like it was a mile long every year that claustrophobia bag seemed longer and longer um and you're gonna you're gonna exit you're gonna exit the uh the asylum you're actually gonna exit both the uh the den and the asylum being chased by uh chainsaw actors um and when i say chased these actors will chase you right? they'll chase you all the way out to the parking lot um if you let them there's an actor um chainsaw actor at the end of the asylum who was who was incredible i mean he will literally chase you i mean this, this guy is nuts um he goes by the name uh latch uh he you'll just he's unbelievable man he he, he follows you he'll feel scared of crap out of you so like as soon as you walk in the asylum you're getting an intense actor and soon and like when you exit the last person you encounter is intense as well i mean that whole asylum is just unbelievable um after that, it started to get uh, darker, so uh, we decided to do the hayride, and then we're gonna save the uh, trail for uh, the very end. Uh, hayride, it's it's unbelievable what they do on this hayride. If you've never been, I mean, just it's it's one of the best I've seen. Um, it, it, if you've been there, you know that what they do on these hayrides when they like. You know, put you in a room and close the doors and, and things coming from the ceiling, things coming up from the side, you know, actors getting on the hay, the hay wagon. Um, the, the scenes, um, there's not much changed. Um, if you didn't go last year, there, there would be a new scene, um, like the chop shop, which is awesome. There's things like think you're going to fall on it. That's like where the trail is. So you can see people walking over. Um, that scene is really, really awesome. Um, I, I do love the fact that the, uh, the, the wagon goes through one of those giant vortex things. Um, the, the, the hayride, if you plan on doing it, get there early, that, those lines for that hayride just are incredibly long. Um, I'm sure people just go, uh, for that. Um, so if you go and, you, and, and you're doing the hayride, make sure you get there early, um, because you will be waiting a long time for it. Um, like I said, after the hayride, uh, we did the Nocturnal Wasteland. The Nocturnal Wasteland is my favorite attraction. Um, I, I, I love walking through it, to seeing all the scenes. You can really like study the scenes since you're walking. Um, I, I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's, a, it's one of those attractions that if you're afraid of heights, um it, it might be difficult to get through because you know you are walking up like i said there's one point you're walking over the hayride so you're like look, looking down on the hayride it's it's a it's really awesome um there, there's one part you know you're like, kind of like walking up you're on a bridge and like the floor starts like shifting and then of course they have that they have that laser swamp scene in there which is absolutely amazing you know i'm sure you know what i'm talking about the green light and the fog it looks like you're walking through a swamp um that that effect is so awesome and it's just it, it works so well for what they're doing um so so make sure you get to all four of them um do off go out there they, like i said they're open i think close to two months it, it's it's unbelievable they're like the first haunt to open like the last one to close um just go out support them um, like I said, you do need to get your tickets, um, in advance. You need to get them online to guarantee your entry. Now they are doing walk-ups, um, as long as they have open time slots, but I know the closer it gets to Halloween, um, those time slots are going to be sold out and then you won't be able to get in. So, uh, like I said, make sure you go online, check the dates, check the ticket prices, um, check the times, just, uh, make sure you're prepared to go and, uh. Be prepared to stay there for a while. Like I said, you know, between all four attractions in that uh, that midway area, you, you're going to be there a long time. So just uh, just prepare for a very long night. Um, 
I, like I said in many reviews, just wear sensible clothes, wear, wear sensible shoes. Um, don't wear anything that's going to get dirty. Don't go giving them them a one star because you got your shoes dirty. Um, you are going to an actual farm. Um, it's it's one I, I can't think of a like I said in the beginning I can't think of a uh, a, a better haunt to uh, start the season with just because it's so intense that this whole thing is just all four interactions are just intense and um go check them out Field of Screams Mountville thank you for watching.